let's proceed with this um, material that we have down here, which is going to be a soft plastic. Uh, like before, I want to isolate it by Alt left clicking like this, and then center it by Alt command right click. And on PC, that is Alt control right click. Cool. I double click on the material, change the material type to, whoops, not thin film, plastic, like this. And I'm going to change the diffuse color to black. So as before, we could turn up the roughness, but in this case, I actually want to do some variation using a bitmap in the roughness channel. So to work a bit, uh, a bit clearer with that, uh, I, I open up the material graph again for, for this material. And again, I need to rearrange stuff a bit so we better can see what's going on, like so. Okay, so actually I need to open up the material library again. So I do that by hitting M on the keyboard, or if you have your toolbar shown, uh, that was T on the keyboard, then you can open it here as well. But I think it's it's really good to, to have these uh, Shortcuts in the muscle memory because yeah, it's just quicker to do when you don't have to think about it anymore. So here I go to the texture tab and when it's loaded, I wanna use uh, a map that comes from Keyshot. It's uh, in here in the color maps um, and it's called, let me see where it is, metal texture. You could also just uh, search for it, writing metal and then in the list here when you have found the the texture you want to use you can drag it over in the graph uh, and feel free to use uh, another texture um, sometimes you will get surprised about what kind of looks you can achieve with different materials um, but for now we're going to use this metal texture and we're going to uh, take the the output here whoops like this um, and drag it into this plus sign down here because not all options are shown. Um, there's a lot more inside this plus sign. So we drag it into the plus sign and select roughness. And you see right away that some exciting stuff is happening. If we let it sit for a bit, you can see we get this uh, scratch texture uh, driving the roughness. So if we had C on the keyboard while having this map selected, we see the colors. And when working with a, a color map like this, uh, or, or a bitmap texture like this, what is black becomes completely shiny, and what is white becomes super rough. Um, so if we look at the, uh, the darkest parts right here, we see that that's the most shiny parts, uh, while what is white, like the part here that gets uh, really rough. So we want to adjust that. And by default here in the in the texture options, you have a, a brightness and a contrast slider. But I find that these can be a bit hard to uh, control and uh, to uh, use those to achieve the exact look you're after. So instead, I like to use um, the utility node called color to number. And you get that by uh, right click go to utilities and select color to number. Then we take the uh, output and drag into the color to number input and then drag um, that output into the roughness input. So nothing happened. And um, if we double click on the color to number, we get these four sliders that we can have some fun with. And to get an understanding of what's happening at the same time, I will select the note and hit C on the keyboard to see the color information again. So we see that if we adjust this input from, what is uh, the dark already gets even darker. And if we adjust the input to, you can see that what is bright gets even brighter. So we can use that to uh, adjust the contrast of this texture. So if I hit X on the keyboard to see the effect, we can see that we can really isolate some of these scratches. So it's not like everywhere, but we get, uh, get a more sharp uh, feeling. 
And then when we have the, the kind of contrast that we are looking for, we can use the output from and output to to adjust the, the different levels of, of roughness. So if we look at the color information, we can see that if we adjust the output from, we take the dark parts and make them brighter and vice versa with this output too, we get uh, to cut down on the brightest colors. And I like to, to see what's actually happening in the texture while doing so. Um, and I know I want this uh, part not to be shiny like this because it's a more soft material. So I'm going to uh, adjust this output from up to uh, something like this. And then I'm going to take the uh, output to and dial it down. So these um, scratches are less prominent. Again, it's it's nice to have these kind of details, but it's also nice to keep them real subtle, at least for, for this kind of rendering where I'm not going with a super clean product shot, but still I don't want to, uh, to make uh, the materials too rough looking either. But it helps to to add in a bit a bit of realism and details to the scene. And again, Command Shift R, a command, Command Shift R, or Control Shift R to uh, create this region render to uh, zoom in on a specific part to to get it to rest up even faster. I think this is uh, quite cool. When I have this roughness down, I want to use this uh, same map to uh, to drive the bump so we get a small dense where we have the scratches as well. And to do so, I duplicate the, the texture because um, the best thing is whenever you can use the same bitmap texture to, to, to put it into different uh, channels at the same time. But I have experienced that when doing that with a bump map, then if you look at the color information here, it gets completely gray. So that's not what we want. Um, so create a copy by right clicking and hitting duplicate and then put that into the bump. Then double click on this node and go down to the bottom where we have the bump height and adjust it to a small value like 0.1. And I can see that we have to go negative because right now the uh, the scratches are protruding the surface and we want them to, uh, to go in inwards. So type negative 0.1. Um, and I think it looks quite cool. It's maybe even too much. I just want this to be real subtle. So it could be something like this. All right, I'm uh, happy with that for now. So uh, let's close the graph down, maximize the window, and right click and say show all parts. And because we had these two materials linked, uh, all the same, or actually this actual same material is applied over here as well. So let's proceed with another material.